The Davis family has almost six decades of experience investing in financial stocks. Why should investors be looking at this sector right now, and what should they consider if they're going to enter it? Well, you're right, Jilly. My, my, my grandfather uh, was a specialist in financial stocks. That was really the area that he focused in the, in the most, and he managed to turn $100,000 into $800 million over his lifetime. And unfortunately, he didn't believe in inheritance, and he gave 100% to charity after his death. But he taught us a way of thinking about financial stocks that really shapes how we invest today. And he essentially said that there are two opportunities that you'll see from in financial stocks. One exists over the long term. And here he said there are certain companies that are in the financial industry that are financial stocks, but what they really are is growth companies in disguise. They're companies that have grown for decades and will grow for decades ahead. You know, you imagine thinking back to companies like Geico. You know, Geico has grown since the 1950s at a fantastic rate. So it's strange to call it just a financial stock. It's really a growth company. So when we invest in financial stocks, the number one thing we look for are what we consider these growth companies in disguise. So that's a big part of the philosophy. But then he also said, from time to time, there are cyclical opportunities. And the way the cyclical opportunities appear is after there has been some financial upheaval, then people don't want to go near financial companies. So, for example, when I started my career, we were just at the tail end of the SNL crisis. And everybody remembered the Bank of New England going bankrupt, the Keating uh, Six hauled in front of Congress, hostile regulation, you know, the collapse of commercial real estate. So nobody wanted financial companies. And our view was that created a cyclical opportunities because those that had survived the crisis were much stronger. Right? They, they, they had proven their worth by getting through the crisis. They had less competition. So pricing was better, and they were at deep discounts to the market because everybody was looking backwards at remembering the financial crisis and not looking ahead to the decade ahead when many of these companies posted wonderful returns. So when we manage uh, financial uh, uh, assets or assets invested in the financial sector, we're looking at those two opportunities, the opportunities to buy growth stocks in disguise, and also the opportunity to invest in a sector when it is unpopular, undervalued, unloved, and ha should have years and years of growth ahead.